The next panel is Tent Town, which was actually right here next to the railroad tracks. Inglewood is Calgary's oldest neighborhood with history dating back to 1875. But a lesser known side of that past are the Métis people who made this area home first. Artist Karen Scarlett hopes to shed light on the indigenous history here with these murals along 9th Ave at the Alexandra Centre, right as you enter the community. At one point it was all Métis community here, uh, even before the turn of the century. Scarlett was brought on by the Alexandra Centre and worked alongside local Indigenous artists to paint the murals. The far piece is teepees that are at Castle Mountain. So the teepee circle that would have been here in the summer and in the winter they would go down to, to take shelter in the mountains at Castle Mountain Range. As a way to engage people and create conversations around the former residential school findings earlier this year, they've added this hopscotch game to the art. We've used orange bare feet um, to symbolize the children that went to residential schools. Singlewood was one of the first areas of settlement in Calgary, of course, just across from Fort Calgary. And this was an area where the Métis settled here because of the convergence of the Elbow River and the Bow River. Brian Blackburn is the president of the Alexandra Center Society. The building is quintessential to this area and it was the perfect place to showcase the neighborhood's roots. Being here on 9th Avenue, anybody that comes across the bridge is going to drive by it. And we're looking at this Alexandra Center to become a hub of the community. This house adjacent to the center used to be where a Hudson's Bay trading post was. And right here, there were findings of teepee skeletons. Scarlett says the murals are drawing people's eyes and attention to this Indigenous heritage. Now that there's this strong public artwork on the building, that people are asking questions and trying to find out what goes on here. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.